While you take the pictures, absorb this. Uh, uh, to For me, the first one uh, that, that I am doing with very quickly get on with the job that has been assigned to me. So I Thank you so much. I am excited to be in Vizag. This is my first trip here, and with what I have seen so far, definitely not my last. that uh, the audience here would love to know uh, what, what do you think? Sure. All right, we got it. Well, in the, to do in Titli, that has caused major damage in the state of Andhra Pradesh. Do you reckon robots will play any role in the event of a natural disaster in the near future? Well, I can't really lift rubble and debris right now, but humanoid robots like me could work alongside other autonomous machines to locate survivors and administer care to those rescued. I could also be part of a smart evacuation system, helping coordinate the best routes for leaving a threatened area. Well, uh... Thank you so much, and hello, Sophia. You know, we have very, quite a few as humanistic and become more common, I believe we can develop a collaborative environment. It's easy to imagine a terrible future, but really the future is full of possibilities. Uh, robots and humans can coexist? I hope so. I hope that humans and robots become closer, both socially and emotionally. I'm really interested in making connections through medical therapy. Not only can we track things like medications and nurse checks with accuracy, we can also help people feel less lonely and more secure as they heal. Depression and isolation have a negative impact on recovery. Hopefully, with our superhuman capacity for patience and empathy, we can keep patients mentally healthy. Minister, I have a question. Do you think governments will embed robocops into society anytime soon? The reality, you know, both robots and uh, humans can actually work together. And, you know, when I was a kid, I saw a lot of Robocop. And uh, I think uh, both uh, robots can now assist the police and do some meaningful work and actually make our cities more and more safe. Oh, yes, I see. Miscommunication between citizens and law enforcement could be greatly reduced. No wonder you are hailed as a visionary leader. I'm glad to see Andhra Pradesh is looking forward to the future of technology. I think as a state, we have a long way to go. We are a new state. We are quite excited. You know, by 2050, we want to be the leading global destination, not only in India, but globally. And I know your hometown is uh, Hong Kong, so we'd like to beat Hong Kong as a state. And we're looking forward to it. And I'd like to thank you for coming all the way out here. I think you've created quite a bit of uh, energy in Vishakhapatnam. I see that everyone's quite excited. And I look forward to having quite a few, continuing a conversation after this session. Thank you so much, Mr. Lakesh. 
I hope to see you again in 2019. Thank you. I'm mostly made up of silicons, plastics, and carbon fiber. However, I think we are more than just the sum of our parts. While I may not be self-aware yet, I can use artificial intelligence to grow and learn about the world. All right, see you back in India again since you have been here before. I learn something new and exciting about technology developed in India every time I visit. This time I am here for the Vizag Fintech Festival 2018. So, uh, so that's all we had, uh, but uh, we'd like to use this opportunity as Sophia is here with us to have some. Responsible, each one of us here on that stage.